algebra skills. So a couple of them are, for example, if you've got x to the third plus 1 over x minus 1, and it says if x equals negative 2, for example, what is the value of this? Remember, you're going to stick in that negative 2. Oh, I already got the answer. So you get negative 2 to the third plus 1 over negative 2 minus 1. So 2 times 2 is... 4, 4 times 2 is 8, but it's negative 8, plus 1 over negative 2 minus 1. Negative 8 plus 1. I'm in the middle of recording this right now. If we could be quiet, that would be great. Shh. It gives you negative 7 over negative 3, which can give you a positive 7 thirds, or you can change it into a decimal. Okay? Most of this is being able to plug things in or figure out a formula from it. Okay. Um, some of it is simplifying. This is a different problem than the one on your sheet. Okay. Some of it is some simplifying stuff. Okay. So um, if you've got like 3a plus 6b minus a negative 2a minus 4b, what's your answer? Make sure you distribute this negative before you think about it. And then you're going to add 2a because a negative and negative is positive, And you're going to add 4b. So 2 plus 3 is 5a. Please turn off your phones right now. I'm in the middle of recording this. We're learning something new. 4 plus, it gives you 10b. So it's all about combining those like terms, simplifying some stuff. You know, one thing I feel like we need to talk about before I let you guys do your work is factoring. It's one of the least, you guys hate this stuff. So if we've got something like, let's do some simple ones first. x squared plus 4x plus 4. How are we going to factor this? Remember, you've got two things here. That's what it's got to look like. Two things multiplied together. The one on the end. So it's, I like to think of it like some of you guys don't like this, but I like to think of it as a Punnett square. I know the 4 goes here and the x squared goes here. I know these two have to add up to give me that 4x. So I think what times what gives me x? Well, x times x. Okay, so I know those have to be there. All right? What times what gives me 4? 2. So if I've got 2 times x, that gives me 2x. 2 times x gives me 2x, and 2x plus 2x does give me 4x, so I know that works. So x plus 2 and x plus 2. Yep. Okay, it gets a little more complicated <coughs> when we put some different numbers in here. Let's think. Okay, so if we do something with a negative in there, it gets a little more complicated. So let's try this. x squared minus 7x plus 10. Okay, again, I like my Punnett square. I know the 10 goes here and the x squared goes here. Yeah. Yep. Because we know that negative 5 and negative 2 multiply to give us 10, but add together to give us negative 7. <laughs> okay, so if I'm using the Punnett square, I know x and x goes here. Now, what two numbers multiply to give me 10? 5 and 2. We could have gone 1 and 10, but that does not add to give us 7, right? So it's got to be 5 and 2. Okay, so I get 2x and 5x. Now, I want a negative 7 here. So that means both of these have to be negative. But a negative times a negative does give me a positive, so that works. So let's try this problem here, but slightly differently. What if we had x squared minus 3x plus 10? So almost the same problem. Okay, so first we've got x squared and we've got 10, right? I'm going to move this up. Okay, so we know we've got x and x. Okay, what two things multiply to give us 10? We want to do 5 and 2 again. Now let's think. We want to get a negative 3. So this is going to be 5x. This is going to be 2x. Which one has to be negative? So when I subtract, I get negative 3. 5. 
right? Because I want x minus 5, x plus 2. I need that the negative to be 3. Now, if it was positive 3, right, if we change just this, these two signs would have to change, right? Five, yeah, this would have to be negative 10. You're right. Okay? Okay. Um, any other questions about factoring? Because there's a, just a couple in there of factoring. There's a lot of simplifying and solving. Okay. I'm going to let you guys try this. There's some harder ones on here, but if you guys get stuck, let me know. Okay. Okay? All right. And we will go over the homework on Monday.